Hi there and welcome. This video is to show you how you're going to navigate the Calling 2020 conference. You should, after registration, have this email. When you click on the email, you'll see a thing to create your account. It's already created. All you need to do is confirm your password. I won't put mine in now because I am already logged in, but you'll put in your password, agree with the terms of use and confirm, and then you're in. You will see this page. And you'll, if you don't see calling, you can always click here on the conferences link or do a search for, for calling and find it. This is the main reception page, the page you first come to. And you'll see a couple of things that here on the left hand side, there are some icons. On the right hand side, there are announcements. And there are some other things here, with sponsors on the bottom. Notice here the icons. You've got the reception where we are now, the schedule, very important for how we'll navigate. And we'll show you the main stage, sessions, posters, the expo, the lounges, a lot of fun. And most importantly for right now, the help desk. Because if you have a problem at any point, this navigation tab will always be there. You can go to the help desk and this video will be there and some other helpful information. The help desk should be manned. So you'll be able to click on live discussion during the conference and somebody should be there. And if they're not, you can always click and request a meeting and someone will get an email and get right back to you. So usually land on reception and your main navigation is usually the schedule. You'll notice that you have the different days. It, um, it will usually when it's live default to the, these live days. The conference is already open and you'll see the videos there. Um, and you notice uh, that all times will be in your own time zone. So looking over my shoulder, I'm in New York. You'll notice that here at, you have the opening ceremony. And as I mouse over at something, I can click the little plus here and add it to my own system calendar. So if there's a particular session I'd like to see, I can always add it to my own personal system calendar to make sure I get there. So you have the opening ceremony and then these the um, invited talk and then comes several parallel sessions, one on language modeling, one information extraction. And as I mouse over, you'll see again, these bullet points come up. I can always again, add this. If I click into the session, you will see the parts of the session. And here are all the papers that have been pre-recorded for the sessions that are going to be presented. And then there's the discussion room. Now, this is what we call a flip conference, which is these videos are now open and available for you to go in, view the videos, see all the presentations. I'm Shreema Prabhumoy, and today I'm going to You can make this faster or slower. You can turn the captions off if you'd like. And of course, you can um, start asking questions. And this is great because you get the conversation started now. So you can then, when we come to the next part, which is the scheduled discussion, have these questions ready that the person will be able to answer. Click on the top, you can see the abstract and see this dot download slides here. Very important. If you'd like a closer look at the slides, they get downloaded and you can zoom in, of course, because you have the PDF of the slides. Going back to the session, you'll notice that the first tile is a discussion room. So during the schedule time that was on the schedule, you'll have all of these people in a discussion room which will be very similar to a Zoom room type or Google Meet or that kind of thing. You can have controls here for your audio and video se settings. If you have several mics or, or cameras, you can always choose it here. Uh, notice that there's some Q&A here as people were practicing. You can add a test question and when it's live, you'll be able to do that. And then you can, of course, join the live session. There's nobody there now because I'm recording this ahead of time. But when this would be live, you'd see the presenter, the session chair, they'd be talking. And then if I'd like to join this, I can click to raise my hand, send the request to join the live discussion. And the session chair at their option can choose to let me into the session with audio and video. I can click on the people tab and see any of the people that are there. There's nobody there now because I'm recording this way ahead of the conference. But this is where you would have the discussion that is scheduled at that time. So if you look at the schedule, it's all pretty much that way, where you've got things on the main stage, and then which is like your big room, your big ballroom, and then you have your different other sessions, technical sessions. So if you click on the opening ceremony or, or invite a talk on the main stage, 
you'll go directly there to the main stage, which is the same place that you'd get to if you click the main stage tab here. The main stage is similar, except for the fact that you have a, a tab for chat, which is hello, how are you just to discuss, and then a Q&A tab where you can ask, ask questions and upvote questions. Uh, and that is what the speakers will be able to see and respond to in real time. So the Q&A tab is really for asking questions and great interactivity. And when this program starts, it'll all happen here on the main stage. All the main keynotes and plenaries will, and opening ceremonies will be there. And then you have the various different sessions all off the schedule. And of course, you can go through any schedule item and add it to your own personal calendar. As you look at the schedule and see talks or things you'd like to say, you say, oh, this looks good. Now, some of these are poster sessions, and when you click into them, you'll see posters. We'll go to there in a moment. So this is the schedule. You see the schedule for every day. Uh, and you'll see it in your time zone, and usually you'll have something on the main stage and then things in the lounge and then technical sessions and things like that. Then you can click directly to go to the main stage or to different sessions. So if you wish, you can look at these different sessions just by the sessions itself. You can search lectures. Everything is totally searchable by author, title, etc. You can also filter by different sessions. So if you know the session title or something like that, you can click into it and see just that particular session and go directly to the pages and papers that are part of that particular session. We present here our work on translation called destination. We introduce a new key framework. Now the next thing you can do, the next tab is posters. So you'll see all the posters similar to sessions. You can see all the, you can filter all the different posters. You can search the posters by title, by name. Each of these posters, as you click into them, you can see more about the poster. You can zoom into the poster and see more. You can point to the abstract, and then you can ask a question. And this is great, so you can begin a conversation with the posters even ahead of time. And by the way, all this content will live after the conference as well. So even if you didn't get to something ahead of the conference or during the conference, you can always go back to it then. Now, the actual poster sessions that are scheduled will be in this Gather Town lounge area, which when you click, it may ask you for your name, which you can put in. And then you will join and you'll see here are the poster sessions. And as you go to these different posters, every poster has, of course, its number. You will click the letter X to interact, as you'll see on the bottom. And then you can see my uh, video here. Uh, but if the poster person was there, not they would have their avatar here as well. And you can have a conversation with them with video and audio. Now, you can notice that maybe I don't like this character, so I can change it and change the shirt and change and things like that so look a little bit differently uh, and here in the you have the different poster sessions that you can go to and the different kinds of navigations uh, that will happen within the different poster the next is expo let's take a look at expo where you have all of the different sponsors and you can visit any of these sponsors because they support our event when they are here if they choose to they would be manning their booth or you can request a meeting with them and all of their materials that they wanted to be put up, audio and video and otherwise, are located here within the room as well. Then we have the lounge. And there are different lounges, uh, pointers to the bar, the park, and um, there's an external chat page as well. This is very similar to what we showed before, where this is now a park. So you have one lounge here in a park type atmosphere, and you can really just go around and take a look at the interface and what's there. There's a bar and there are some special events that are all happening here in this lounge area. For example, there's a bird of a feather plenary area, which when it's scheduled, there'll be lots of people here. Or you can go over here and just go around a room and meet people and interact and maybe have a card game and other things. And what we find during conferences is this is where people like to come and congregate in the bar or the park or the other places that the organizers have designated. So there you have it. You've got your reception, your schedule, which is a great way to navigate time-wise the different parts of the conference, 
what's happening, where it's happening, and how to get to the different parts. So at any point in time, you can add it to your calendar and have the discussion there. Look at the posters ahead of time. And then during the poster session, it will go directly to that Gather Town session. Expo, of course, to go to the exhibitors, the various lounges, and let's not forget the help desk, where if you have a problem, this is where you go. And of course, if you have any issues at any time, please feel free to email us at coaling2020 at underline.io. Thanks for listening, and we wish you a most fantastic show.